extremely massive bases tend to be the only way not to get raided in Rust. But that's going to change in today's wipe because I'm going to build inside a tiny cave and make the base unraidable by making it fully armored, filled with traps and automatic turrets and sealing it with a double bunker exploit, making it impossible to get to the tool cupboard. And so after spawning to a fresh wipe server, the first thing I needed to do is get to a cave and secure it so I can build this base. All right, I'm heading to M19 where this cave is located for the base build. Okay, we are pulling up to... Okay, bro. All right, we're pulling up to the cave. Let's go check it out. Okay, nice. We are definitely building in this cave. So now let's get a tool cupboard down to secure this cave. Okay, we just need a bit of stone and wood. Okay, that should be enough. Now let's get this tool cupboard down. Okay, I think that's perfect. Tool cupboard down. Okay, the cave is ours now. And now that we have a cave secured, we can start on building the base and making it unraidable. So, the game plan was to start off building the first bunker, then work our way to building the frame of the base design. After that, upgrade everything to armored, including the doors, then add some traps and auto turrets around the base, and then seal the tool cupboard with the second bunker exploit. And that should be easy, I think. So, to start off with, I'm going to set up the first bunker, which will also act as the entrance to the base. Okay, I got a door crafting, and I just need a bit more wood and stone okay nice we got a nice stone node right here now we just need wood and we should be ready to set up the bunker actually let's investigate this house quickly um wood i'll take that what is this oh what the hell well free loot for us all right let's get back to getting some wood okay that's everything to set up this bunker now start off by upgrading the foundation now let's get a door on then let's check if the bunker works. So place a half wall right here. Then block the entrance with the wall. Place a roof and it should open the bunker. Okay, nice. Now we just need stone to upgrade that wall. Upgrade the wall and now the bunker is all set up. And I have to remember to have wood in the base or I'll be literally locked in here. The base is one step closer to becoming unraidable. So now the next step is to build the frame of the base design before I start upgrading anything. Alright, let's start with the foundations. Now the walls. So we did not have enough wood to continue building so let's get some more. And so I went outside to farm some more wood to finish building the frame of the base. Alright, 4k wood, that should be enough. Now let's get back in our little cave. Okay, let's finish off the wall. So I'm gonna build a second floor right here. Okay, that's pretty much the second floor done. Now I'm gonna build the frame for the storage room. Alright, sweet. The frame of the base is now done. This is not even close to being unraidable yet. And now it was time to upgrade the entire frame into stone. Because right now, the only thing protecting the base is one stone wall and a wooden door. So, yeah. Okay, let's start upgrading all of this. Okay, we ran out of stone, so it's time for a farm run. After using all the stone I had, I went outside to farm more stone to upgrade the base. Okay, I got myself a nail gun and a metal pickaxe, so it should be easy. Might as well get a bit of metal. Oh, do you not want to mess with them? Okay, I need some food because I am starving. Nope, that is not food. Nope, tuna. Yes, I will take that. And after farming for a bit, I headed back to base to continue upgrading the frame to stone. Okay, I farmed about 4k stone. Let's see how much I can upgrade the base. Alright, we're not even halfway done. Okay, 25 stone left. Let's get some more. So, I needed more stone to finish upgrading the frame, but as I headed out to farm it, it did not go so well. Alright, I farmed all the stone nodes around here. So, we're gonna head in more inland for some scrap as well. Five scrap, let's go. Oh, bro. Alright, well, time for a second run. Okay, I got myself back a bow and some metal tools. So, let's get some more stone. Well, back to the grind. Oh my, I'm literally taking L's left and right. And so, I decided I was now going to get my hands on some guns before I continue farming for the base. So, I decided I'm going to get some guns. And for that, I'm going to need a lot of scrap. So, let's get that first. Also, need a bit of sulfur along the way. Alright, let's hit the road for some barrels. Great, there is some guy along the way. Bruh. 
Let's freaking go. Give me all that. Okay, that is our first W. After winning this fight, I farmed some scrap and headed to Bandit Camp to buy some guns. Okay, recycle all of this. Okay, sweet. All right, I just need a bit more sulfur, so let's get that quickly. Okay, we can buy one of that and one of that. So, after buying my first gun, I went back to base to depot some resources and went back to buy some more weapons. Ooh, I'm gonna see if I can try and kill this guy. Let's just hide here. Oof. Bro, we got a semi and a Tommy. That's not bad. And after getting an extra two more guns from this dude, I now had some guns to defend myself while I farm. All right, let's actually get back on track with the stone. So I got back to getting stone to upgrade the frame of the base. Okay, I'm heading back to upgrade. So I got 7k stone. Let's see how much damage we can do. But first, let me fix up the storage room because my loot room is a mess. Okay, that's looking a bit organized. And that was even enough to finish half the base. You gotta be kidding me. And after only upgrading half of the base into stone, I decided I was gonna buy a jackhammer to speed this up because this was taking too long to make the entire frame of the base into stone. All right, for a jackhammer, we need scrap, so let's hit the road. All right, let's go recycle. This should be enough scrap to buy a jackhammer. Okay, we now got a jackhammer. This is gonna speed up farming, so that's pretty good. So, after getting the jackhammer, I continued farming all the stone I needed to finish upgrading the frame of the base. Alright, let's get back to getting all the stone we need. Okay, I've spotted a guy right here. Ooh, we actually need those gears later. Bro, where were these grubs coming from? Okay, we're back in base, and I think this is actually enough stone to finish the base off, so yeah, let's hope. Okay, let's get back to upgrading the entire base. Alright, the front is upgraded. Let's move on to the core of the base. And we're going to do the second floor. And now I just got to upgrade anything that's left. And after a couple more upgrades, the entire frame of the base is now stone. Okay, I added some more doors and we're pretty much somewhat safe. Now, the next thing to make in this base unraidable is garage doors from the front of the base to the TC. So, I was going to need to make a lot of garage doors, but first, I needed to research the blueprint. Okay, I'm going to hit the road to get some scrap first. Okay, that should be enough. Now, let's go buy this garage door. Alright, sweet. Okay, garage door research. And so, now with the blueprint research, I can now start crafting garage doors and placing them onto the base. Okay, I'm gonna place them starting from the front. That's one. And that is all the doors I could craft and we need like another eight more doors. <laughs> okay, I'll start farming. So to fill this base up with garage doors, I now needed to get the components to craft it all. For that, I started running the underground tunnels for the next couple of hours. Okay, I needed like around 14 gears for the rest of the doors. So that should be easy. First run, six gears. Not bad. Let's do this another couple more times. What the hell was that? But anyways, that is all the gears I needed. So I'm gonna head back to base to start crafting all the doors. After getting all the components I needed, I crafted the rest of the garage doors and continued placing them onto the base. Okay, let's hope this is enough. Okay, now the base is actually filled with garage doors. That is pretty OP. And now it was time to turn this entire base into armored, making it literally unraidable. And for that, my plan was to use the quarry and pump all the high quality metal I needed for the base. All right, we just need diesel fuel to run this quarry. There should be one up here. Now let's run to the quarry. Now we just load it up and let it run. Alright, we got 150 high quality metal. That's not bad, but this is gonna take a while, like running back and forth. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this was gonna take a while if I just kept running back and forth just for metal. So I decided to get a horse to speed this process up. Alright, I'm gonna build a little house for the horse right here. Alright, it's looking sick. Alright, let's get some pickles for the horse. Okay, there is all our pickles. Okay, let's actually buy the sauce. So, this guy looks great. And now with a full stem and a horse, this made getting all the metal I needed for the base even faster. 
All right, that is the last one. That, sh that should be enough. Okay, with all the metal we need, um, we just gotta smelt it all now. And after smelting all the metal, I started armoring the base. Okay, let's start upgrading the front of the base, aka the bunker. Okay, with that, let's work our way towards the core of the base. All right, I'm gonna leave some foundations to sheet metal because I don't think it's worth it. Bro, this is probably the most expensive base I've ever built. Okay, damn. Now the base is fully armed. It's looking pretty sick. I do not see anyone raiding this base and actually making it to the TC. Now, to make this base even harder to raid, I'm gonna add some shotgun traps around the base. And for that, I needed a bit more scrap to research the blueprint for it. So, I went down into the underground tunnels to get it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just heard someone camping here. Let's freaking go. Okay, let's continue our tunnel run. Okay, let's recycle this. Okay, that should be enough scrap. Now let's head back to base. So after getting the scrap, I head back to base to research the shotgun trap to start placing them onto the base. Okay, begin researching. Nice. Okay, now we can add a couple of traps around the base. Um, we'll add one here and load it up with a couple of shotgun shells. We'll add one closer to the core, load it up, and I'll just place the rest randomly. And that is the last shotgun trap placed. And with some shotgun traps placed around the base, now it's time to set up order turrets that will protect the base while I'm offline. So I started by tech treeing the order turret. All right, grab the scrap, open this up. Yeah, hopefully I have enough to get it. What a turret, tech tree, let's go. And now I needed to get the components to make it. Okay, I pretty much have everything besides the targeting computer, so that should be easy. So I made my way to Bandicamp to buy the rest of the components. Explosions. Okay, I'm just gonna check this out for a sec. Alright, a bunch of charcoal. Bro, come on. Alright, too easy. After that fight, I quickly depot and got back to getting the components I needed for the order turret. Okay, I need a bit of scrap. Grab a bunch of this. Recycle it all. Okay, there's our scrap. Fighter's computer station. Recycle this. And it didn't drop us the component we needed. It did give us one high quality metal. That's useful. So I did this process again and got the components I needed. Okay, we got one. Two out of two, let's freaking go. And now I can start setting up the order turrets for the base. All right, making some order turrets. Now, gotta craft some of these, some batteries, generators, and a couple of sensors. That should be it, hopefully. So let's place the first order turret at the front. Chuck a python in there and a couple of bullets. Place another one here and here. Now I'm gonna add the sensors right above them. And to power them, we just gotta slap down a battery and a generator for them. Okay, sweet. Now we're gonna add the electrical branches. Okay, with all that done, we just gotta connect them together. So we'll start on connecting this turret first. Um, let's test if this actually works. Chuck fuel in there and then peek over here. Yep, everything works. That is great. Now I just gotta connect the other turrets. That is the last turret connected. And there we go. Now we have some automatic turrets. And so it was about time to set up the second bunker to seal the tool cupboard. All right, we need to cook some more high quality metal. So, all right, now we got the metal. Uh, we're just gonna make some spears, some boxes and a sleeping bag. All right, now it's time to set up this bunker. We're gonna place a sleeping bag right here. Box right next to it, shove all this in here. And now we block it off. And bam, it's blocked off. So let's test if this works. Let's die, then spawn on my bag, and break this. Okay, the bunker works. And there it is. I literally built the most OP cave base in Rust. And nobody even tried to raid me, so that's pretty cool. 